Hey everybody, how we doing today? Very, very beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. Uh, just got a few clouds running along the Keys, but the outside was looking really clean. So figured, hey, time to make an offshore run. So we're gonna finish running off to the uh, wrecks and do some jigging and trolling. Uh, right now we're just already outside the reef. Uh, some light powder, powder blue water. So not so great for the trolling. I don't see any bird activity which is not so good either, but we'll do a little blind trolling if we have to. Uh, I just haven't been out here in such a long time. It's just nice every once in a while to make the long run. Uh, we've got today, it's gonna to be a nice day. Tomorrow it starts ramping up and then it gets kind of blown out for a week. So I'm gonna to try to take advantage of it, see what kind of activities we can get into. But uh, that's the plan. Got my safety red uh, all about the bait shirt on, so. Nobody runs me over, but nobody's out here. I've seen one boat diving for lobsters probably, and one guy out uh, chumming probably for yellowtails. So not a lot of activity going on. I'm not seeing, hearing too much in regards to reports. I think we're just kind of summer, summer doldrums uh, until the pilchards start moving in. So anyways, let's get to it. And miraculously, the Lawrence is still working. That's always a crap shoot. So we're about 60 foot. I usually wait till I get about 100 and 150. That's the, 100 foot is basically the flat level. Then it's a gradual descent out. But uh, always be looking for birds. That's the first place I'll head to. But otherwise I'm just gonna head to the wrecks first. As you see the uh, color of the water change drastically, right at around 100 feet, it's turned to this darker blue. That's a lot better, cleaner water. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in, I still have a couple hundred feet to go to get to the racks, but I see a couple birds out there. They don't look like they're working, but this water looks a lot fishier. So I'm gonna put a couple of uh, rigs out and see what happens. I either got something or I got a jellyfish that ran through it. Oh, nope, hidden jellyfish. Okay, uh, we are ready for our first drift. Um, I did a trial drift and weirdly, we're going from uh, east to west, which is opposite direction current. So I don't know if possibly we have zero current and then just a slight breeze is pushing me towards the west, but we're definitely going the opposite direction, but I'm set up correct. So I've got this uh, diamond jig just uh, ready to go. It was just sitting in my kayak a side well, so it's all rusty and stuff, but we'll give it a try, see what's down there. Uh, this is a bit heavier, so um, that'll be a good test to see what the current is. If it's no current at all, then I'll drop down and wait, because you just want as minimal as possible. But you can get these type of jigs, www.allaboutthebait.com. So let's see what happens. Yeah, there just seems to be hardly any current. Uh, today, I am using my eight and a half foot noodle rod, the Shimano TDR $30 eBay special. Then I've got the replacement Torium 16. Oh, we hit bottom there. Yeah, no movement at all. And uh, unknown braid that came with it. And I went ahead and changed out to the uh, 60 pound uh, leader because that whatever was on there before was not very good. So let's see if we can get a bite here. Yeah, there's very little current, so I'm dropping down to a three ounce, same style of jig, knife style jig. And I think that'll work fine for us. Finally got something. Finally got something. It's little though. Then it takes the skunk off. Bonita, tuna, just don't get eaten. Oh, did it come off? Oh no, it's still there. Oh no, it just got bigger. Oh no. That would be the shark. Maybe. Man, 
it started out really small, got bigger and bigger. What did we turn into? I got this white whatever line. I have no clue what it is. But I do have 60 pound leader, so I'm confident there. This thing is pulling me up. Come on, Let's see what you are. Look at that rod, my noodle rod. I love this dude. Come on. Whoa. It's feeling awful tuna-ish. Or big bonito. Oh, we're on leader. I can't see though. Oh, I see something. Fast moving something. Uh, I think Benito. Uh, can't tell. Sp smelling like Benito. Uh, yep. Just a big boy Benito. Oh, Lord. I know Fred wants this, but I don't know if he's home. Should I keep it? We use this for bait for uh, the reef, which we haven't had in a long time. Ah. Uh, oh. Shoot, what do I do? Uh, golly, what am I gonna do with this thing? Uh, I'll keep it and figure out something to do with it. I don't have any good bait, so that'll work. All right, dude's in the cooler, most of them. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna eat a break. That was on the uh, five ounce, just the uh, eel. Had a little blue silver tape on it, a little sparkle. That was a workout, so I'm gonna finish my cheeseburger. Then I think what I'm gonna do is go way past it up current and then throw out a paddle tail and just let a whole bunch of line out and then just let that drag over the rack and then maybe I'll vertical jig as we're waiting and see if I could pull up another Bonita. That will definitely be worthwhile for bait. Whew! That was good to work them arm muscles. But as you can see that noodle rod neutralizes their, uh, their mobility pretty well. It's just constant pressure. I mean it's a scary bend but man I bend the crap out of it and it doesn't break. 30 bucks, and I think we're on year number four on that dude. So, all right, next one up. All right, I'm jigging done. <laughs> I definitely put in the work. So, that's how many passes I made. And really no action, just that lone while, I think it started out with something small, the hook pulled, but then everything else was following it, and then that uh, Bonito, picked up the lure right after it because it got pretty big real quick but uh, I'll be happy with that we got some bait for some uh, reef fishing uh, I don't know 
zero bird activity, zero bait activity. It's dead quiet out here. So I could even hear if there's anything busting. Just nothing. There's a few storm clouds right there and there. So I think I'll get in a little closer, maybe along the uh, edge of the reef. And I think I'm gonna bounce the um, uh, plastic paddle tails along the reef edge and see if I can get some action that way. Just something for fun. So we'll head in and now. Well, I'm on the reef, but I think I'm gonna call it a day. That thing is just coming right along the, uh, the keys and it's spitting up lightning and thunder and stuff. So I'm gonna try to beat that in. I was planning on uh, coming back out to the reef tomorrow anyways, because I want to start using the uh, yellow tail uh, drift jigs. So we'll call it a day. I'm a one fish wonder anyway. Catch one bonito, call it a day. Get one lobster, call it a day. Get one tarpon, call it a day. <laughs> so we'll keep that trend. But anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you next video. Bye.